Hi guys, I'm Dan at VintageFellow.org and today we are going to be taking a look at two uh, epically cool vintage Mercatone Uno Bianchi Mega Pros. Uh, now the one behind me here you've met before, it's my replica Marco Pantani Bianchi Mega Pro uh, in its full Mercatone Uno livery. I love that bike, I ride it a lot. The one in front of me here you haven't met before, it's been on long term display in Italy and it is a real deal 1998 Mega Pro Mercatone Uno team bike. This one was ridden by Riccardo Forconi, uh, nickname of De Sica. Uh, and if you have one of the cool uh, Pantani bandanas, De Sica is about there. They name all the riders from the team that year, and he's about there uh, on the bandana. Um, now, he rode uh, in support of Pantani, both the Giro d'Italia that year and the uh, Tour de France. So he did the Giro Tour double alongside uh, Pantani in support of his epic wins. Um, now, um, this bike here, um, we'll go through the details. Now, the first thing we need to know, the obvious one, the colour. Now, Celeste, Bianchi Celeste is a colour that has changed many, many times over many years. Forums are chock full of debates over what uh, colour Celeste Blue actually is. And the reality is, it changed a lot and it changes when it's on the bike. Now, the colour behind me here um, is a regular, much more modern Celeste Blue that we see on a lot of Bianchis uh, in the last few years. Um, this is obviously the original paint, the original Celeste Blue from 1998, but even this is changing colour somewhat. Um, if we look on the Time Forks, um, the lacquer, the clear coat I can see is kind of, um, it's going a bit browny orange so it's changing the colour of the blue. Uh, by going orange on blue you're getting much more green coming out. We're seeing this elsewhere on this bike so hence the more minty green of the blue. Um, it is just one of those things, it's something we see a lot. Um, colours change over years on exposure to sunshine or in this case uh, the uh, the clear coat the lacquer uh, is going a bit orangey so it changes its colour so I would never get too uh, caught up on what the exact colour uh, uh, Bianchi Celeste Blue is we don't really know I don't think they do either now details we need to know about here both bikes are super record nine titanium. Um, my favorite group set ever, it is just spot on. Uh, you wanna ride something really, really good, really clicky, really fast. Um, record super titanium nine is just fantastic. However, a couple of differences. Um, on this one here, we've got Chamal's, Campagnolo Chamal's uh, on here. Um, now, interestingly of note, um, Mercatone Uno in that year, uh, they had uh, Chamel's in uh, silver, they had Chamel's in black, uh, and they had um, uh, Electron lightweights as well, and a couple of other um, Campagnolo rims, um, general duty rims. So it's not unusual, especially more so at the Giro of 1998, uh, to see a variety of rims being used by the Mercatone Uno team. Um, and in fact, there is a, there's a picture of Pantani on a flat, uh, I think it might have been stage 16, stage 17, I can't remember now, uh, of the Giro d'Italia, where he's got a black chamal on the back and a silver chamal on the front, where it's being mixed up. Same goes with tyres. Now, we always assume um, a Mercatone Uno uh, Mega Pro Bianchi is going to have yellow tubulars. Um, no, not true. They often do, but they've got just as much chance in period of seeing them uh, in the minty green as well. Um, it's just one of those things. I guess they had both. Pantani, yes, always had yellow. The Domestiques could have had either. Uh, likewise with the saddle on here, um, it really is only Pantani that gets the awesome Pirata saddle. Uh, the rest of the guys either get yellow Celia Talias or they get light blue Celia Talias. Uh, plenty of period photographs with both in situ. This one has an utterly stunning amount of, of genuine wear. Um, that, that has had a lot of seated climbing uh, gone through that saddle. Uh, likewise, the ITM Big One stem. Um, the Domestiques have black stems. They don't have the yellow ITM Big One uh, stem that Pantani rode. They have black ones. Um, it's in all the photos. I did plenty of research. No, nope, this is how it should be. Also, Pantani famously 
hollowed out his left hand ergo lever so he couldn't change gear uh, with the left hand ergo. Um, he has um, a down tube shifter on the left for shifting the big ring. Um, he was the only one that did that. Uh, the rest of the riders are on regular ergo power so you get that bit of a difference there as well. Also, because this is a team bike, we have the Time Mag pedals, the red ones. Ah, oh, and uh, well, for everyday riding, yeah, Shimano's on the replica, uh, the Times. Um, I'm going to be honest, I've got to track down some of the original cleats. Um, these are very, very cleat specific, um, and I don't have any at the moment, so I'm trying to find the right ones. Um, but I'm sure when we get out there in the summer and ride this, we'll leave those Time pedals on there, and we'll take those out uh, with the original cleats. Now, weight-wise, um, I've weighed both of these bikes. Um, now, in the setup they're in at the moment, the recreation uh, is slightly lighter, but that's down to the wheels. If you swap the wheels around, um, so you put the same wheels on each bike, um, that one there, the uh, the 98 Mega Pro replica, um, it weighs in at about 8.9 kilo. Um, and if you swap the wheels around, this is in at about 8.85, 8.8 kilos. Um, so the XL is slightly lighter um, than the L, which is as you would expect to see. But with these wheels on, it tips in at about 9.15 kilo. Uh, so both builds just under 20 pounds, uh, as you would expect. Um, obviously, we all know that uh, Pantani's Mega Pros uh, came in at um, well under the eight kilo about the seven kilo mark uh, but they were exceptionally fragile special builds uh, and they didn't last at all um, and I'm not surprised that this is only ever so slightly than the regular L. Um, riding characteristics are very very similar but we will go through that at a later date this summer. Uh, in the meantime I think I'm going to make use of the fact it's not freezing cold uh, and it's not raining uh, to get out there and put a few miles, um, a winter miles on the, uh, the recreation and we will save this epic team bike for another video later this year. Anyway, uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed that little look at comparing the two bikes. Um, we will catch up soon. Do like and subscribe for more cool vintage bikes, vintage rides, and anything that's great to do with vintage bikes.